Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today we're here exploring the waterfront in Seattle, Washington. So yes, you guys heard that right. We are making a video series for this city. And let me tell you, I am so excited for what there is to come. The first place we're going to visit is none other than Seattle's waterfront. This place is full of history, delicious food, and many, many things to do. The goal for today is simple, to visit these places, tell you a little bit about them, and overall, enjoy this day with you guys. This video is about to be jam packed. So if you're interested, come with me. located at the heart of Seattle, a short walking distance from both downtown and Pike Place Market. Over many years, this place has evolved into an area that is mainly used for recreational, retail, and touristic activities. For right now, what we're gonna do is explore this main area right here and head to the stores to do some shopping. If you're looking for souvenirs, you don't have to look very far as there's multiple souvenir and gift shops in this area right here. There's one right here called Ye Old Curiosity Shop and I don't know about you guys, but I'm very curious to see what's inside. In here, you'll find multiple different things ranging from books, jewelry, decorations, and many other things. Some, as you can see, can be very random. Wow, you guys. What made it extra interesting for me was the fact that at the very back, you could see like some mummies, some human mummies. I don't know if they're real, but they look pretty real to me. And also the desiccated animals that you could see all across the, the little shop. There were also like shrunken heads and stuff. Like what? I, I didn't think I was going into Ripley's, believe it or not, museum. Like that's so crazy. So it's definitely a really cool place to check out. I wouldn't miss it if I were you guys. The next shop we found is called Simply Seattle. As you can see, it's right there. And as the name says it, here you can find gifts that have Seattle as well as the skyline on them. I might snatch something from here, actually. Let's check it out. It was honestly not that impressive. Basically, what you find there is just socks, mugs, and apparel. And I don't know if it's only me, but I didn't really like the designs or anything like that. So I wouldn't recommend that place. That's gonna be it for the different shops that you can find in this area. Like I said, you can find many others, but we're good for today. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and visit other attractions that we can find here at the waterfront. Next up, we're gonna visit an attraction that is very emblematic to the city of Seattle. It is also one of the most recognizable structures in the city. I'm talking about the Seattle Great Wheel. Check it out, you guys. This is a huge Ferris wheel that stands at about 175 feet tall and has the capacity to carry about 300 people. The wheel was open in 2012, but it quickly became popular. That means we're probably gonna have to wait a long line to get on it. We'll catch you guys once we go in. We're going in, you guys. Check it out. such a cool experience you guys definitely recommend next up we're gonna go ahead and visit the aquarium going in you guys we actually have the city pass what it basically is it's like a ticket for a lot of different attractions here in Seattle and the aquarium is one of them with this ticket we just saved 49% you guys definitely worth it look our friend the scuba diver let's say hi to him hello <laughs> it's so fun you guys and all the fish <laughs> right next to them my girlfriend is telling me that this is actually a show there's multiple shows and this one is the, like the live diving basically this diver just says hi to people and plays around 
and also feeds the fish. That's pretty cool. And it's pretty interesting. How many species of fish in total are there in this tank? I think there's around 20. Do you agree on that? It's around 20. Yeah. So they just answer a question of how thick the glass is. And apparently it's this thick. That's crazy. But this is what you need in order to hold in the water. This is another tank. It looks cool because it, it shows you like the flow, like the different current, I guess. And this one is getting wild. Look at that. Whoa. So interesting, you guys. These little fishies, they just go with the flow. Let's see. <laughs> A wave comes and they go with the wave. And as soon as it recedes, they come back. In back of me, you will see different areas where they show different type of environments as well as different animals in a place that is very similar to their actual habitat. You can touch it. You can touch it. Yeah, and they want to eat me. Is he? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so spiky. That was like a cactus, you guys. That was so cool. Whenever these anemones like get your finger, oh, they're actually trying to like paralyze you. They actually eat fish. Check this out, you guys. This, you guys, this is the octopus. And you can't really see it from any other angle because the glass is so thick. But you can kind of see it moving if you get close enough. There's another one right here, you guys. They're all just kind of chilling, glued to the glass. Whoa! This is a ring of life, you guys. This is like a mini aquarium for jellyfish. And they're just going around with the current. Check it out guys, we mm -hmm. just found Nemo right here. Found mm -hmm. It's right there. Nemo, I found you! Oh no! Why are they fighting? No! Don't fight! <laughs> They're chasing each other! Over here, it's for birds and animals. I think my girlfriend said that we're gonna see otters. Whoa! Check it out you guys. This one's huge! And over there, this, the scuba diver guys. Feeding the fish. That's cool, but I want to see the otters. Check it out, you guys. We can get a really up close look at this little otter. It's like it's sleeping. Oh, it's so cute. All right, you guys. That was so awesome. Moving to the next attraction. We just made it here to Sculpture Park. And what it is, I guess you can tell from the name. Over here, they bring the sculptures that they cannot keep in the art museum. This is the first one we see right now. It is sort of like uh, modern art, so it's not my cup of tea. But it's definitely interesting and just the fact that they're huge, uh, it makes it really a cool place to come here to take pictures for Instagram and whatnot. You'll see a lot of people doing that. Just not today because it's so cold. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people, but check this out. This is another one. Again, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. There's another one right here. This just looks like a bench that was wrecked or bent or something. Apparently, this is another of the sculptures that you can see in this park. And I think my girlfriend put it in the best words as possible. She said, I think, I don't know. Honestly, that's the way that some of these sculptures make me feel. I really don't get it. One more right here. This one is two vertical plates. I guess I like this one. It's moving with the wind, so it's interesting. There's another sculpture over here, and you might say, where is it? But this tree is a sculpture. I don't know if you can tell from, from the camera, but it's made out of metal or something like that. We found this big piece, which you can go into it. Check it out. We're part of art, you guys. That is the first time that I've ever said that. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Like I said, really great place to take pictures for your Instagram. And you can also get a sneak peek of the Space Needle over there. It is so cold, you guys. And we still have one more thing to do.
mid here to Pier 55. This is where Argosy Cruise Line is located. Our plan is to take the Harbor Cruise, which is supposed to take one hour. So we just made it here. We're about to get in line and check this out. It seems like it's gonna be really cool. We're gonna get some great views of the city. We're looking forward to that. About to go in, you guys, going in through these gates, following the squad. So we're at the top now, guys, and I was making an observation. I thought these were gonna be like metal drilled down to the ground or something, but they're like normal chairs. So if there's any turbulence, we're going down, guys. We picked our seats here very close to the edge uh, so that we can catch a really good picture of the sunset as well as the city skyline as soon as this thing starts moving. There's this thing in the middle. I don't know what it is exactly, but you can go above it and take pictures. I've seen a few people uh, taking pictures here. And we're moving now, you guys. Check this out. That is the Ferris wheel right behind me. And over here, that's the skyline of the beautiful city of Seattle. It looks so unreal, you guys. Check it out. So nice. I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the speakers. Um, they're giving us like an explanation of all the things that you can see from here as well as uh, a little bit about the history of Seattle. So it's very interesting, very cool tour. I just came to the back because my girlfriend showed me like a little video that she got with her phone of how it looks like the water at the very back. Let me show you. Isn't that amazing? That looks so cool. But there's a city right behind me. This view is our Insane you guys, like literally everywhere you turn is so amazing. cool you guys great experience a lot of great information and the views were amazing hopefully you guys enjoy coming along with us if you did make sure you show the support by liking and subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this one I just want to remind you to be kind have an open mind I'll see you next time